Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And in last week's episode, we made a clipboard so that we can keep track of what we were doing. And we talked about the chisel mod, the chisel and bits mod and the platformer mod, where we made some stairs and decorated bricks, you know, decorated the house. So today we're going to finish we're going to do decoration station tier one complete. So if we look in our book, decoration station, we want to do this first one, this first layer. So let's have a look. I did go mining. I think I picked, oh yes, I did pick up a lot of iron because we're gonna need it. Yeah, we've got three, three and a half stacks of iron plus a block there. So almost four stacks of iron. Oh, that's still going. Now that was the drum. Yep, so we've got almost four stacks of iron. Oh, there's a couple of ender pearls that are ready. These do take forever to grow. It's really, really annoying. But luckily we're not short on ender pearls because we seem to get a lot of them as um, as rewards. I did go exploring. I went pretty far away. I went and put up a couple of nether portals because I wanted to see, you know, how we could get to different places in the nether. And, um, yeah. Nether, the nether is, it's a very strange place out there. So there's a lot where we spawn, there's a lot of islands. I made a staircase going up and out of the nether. I made a... I've got... no, 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 no. I made scaffolding, which is the... Um, in the platformer mod there were stuff, the blocks, square blocks that I couldn't work out what they were. It's scaffolding. Oh, that scared me for a second. And I forgot I was wearing my boots, so I wouldn't have plunged to a, a fiery death, but even so. There's some iron that I missed. But I came down, I was doing a bit of mining. But basically these square things, you just climb them, they're like ladders. So you just climb them up, climb up them, sorry. And I still haven't put a roof on my house. I'm not quite sure why. And I want to make a garden. But that's it, because I've been finding lots of um lots of different plants and so on. I should really put a trapdoor on that so I don't fall in it. Oh, and when I went exploring I found a pirate ship. Which is put in with the Quark mod, I think. And it had these really cool banners, so I've got those. <laughs> so today we are going to do tier one of the decoration station okay decoration station so we want to complete all of these now, this is pretty easy pretty paths we need cobble paths and path tiles so the mod inspirations adds a ton of little things to modded minecraft and tweaks a few things from vanilla minecraft one of the awesome things is that it adds various types of path tile blocks these look great in a garden or for a village path so we want one cobble path, one path tile. I know for the cobble path, we need cobblestone. Uh, let's get eight of those and let's have a look. Cobble path. All right, so two cobblestone will give you three path, paths. And the other one was tile. What was it? Tile something. Path tiles, okay. Okay, and for that we need stone bricks. Okay, now you need, right, we need to cook those. Can you put these path tiles on the inside? You can. Oh, that's pretty. 
and when you put them down it will randomize the tile which is pretty cool oh we don't want to climb that yeah we want our pickaxe and let's make our stone bricks and two of those will give you path tiles oh those are well, I like that that's pretty cool right so let's take our loot chest and let's open it we don't need our atlas right now uh, mending nice efficiency four and digger mending tools and I'm breaking three tools okay I don't know why it has digger and whatever underneath it that makes no sense to me but they're enchanted books we'll take them we'll put them in our bookcase and put our atlas in there as well okay on to the next thing X-Tones. Oh, X-Tones is a futuristic block decoration block mod. It is similar to chisel, but instead of a chisel item to convert blocks, you simply hold the item in your hand and press shift while scrolling to change the block between types. We want a Azure block. So how do you make that? Uh, A-Z-U-R. So we need lapis around an X-Tone tile. X-tone tiles are stone slabs around stone, so we need to make some more stone. No, oh, I'm making popcorn. I didn't want to do that. Let's wait for one to cook. Yeah, didn't want to make popcorn. I wanted that. Doesn't give you much by way of fulfilling your hunger, which is, I guess, you know, the whole point. Okay, let's see, X-Tone. So we need six slabs and we need a piece of lapis. Now I said none, so if we go into options, controls, and if we look for X-Tone, X, no category would be X-Tone cycle x tone so if we change it if we reset it left click no 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 uh, l shift um i don't know what to change it to f1 okay so we change it to f1 back to game so if i hold down f1 no that was a dumb thing to do okay it did change it but F1 is mapped to something else. Okay, let's come out from that. Options, controls, category, X tone, reset, done. Okay, we'll have to just leave it as a conflict for now. Left shift. Oh, and you scroll with your mouse wheel and it gives you lots of tiles. Oh, that is pretty cool. And there's 16 different types so you've got so if you look above where the experience is it will tell you what number it's looking at that is pretty cool okay can you make slabs out of these no you can't you can't make slabs can you put these in the platformer mod no you can't and this is probably going to be a dumb question, but can you chisel them? No, you can't. Okay. But I mean, they're pretty dec decorative blocks anyway. So if we take out that block and put in that, step back. Actually, that's, that's, that's an interesting looking block. Okay. And I know there's tons of colours for this. Where is my chiseled block? There it is. Okay, so we've done that. And let's claim our loot chest. Next is Colourful Water. The mod Colourful Water does just what you think it would. Coloured water does not mix with any other fluids when placed in the world. You can use and use the glowing water as a light source. 
So we want glowing, glowing light blue water bucket and a pink water bucket. Okay, glowstone, light blue dye and a water bucket. Glowstone, I must have glowstone. It's a piece of glowstone, I need another piece. And another piece. We have buckets. Do we have buckets? No, we only want one glowing. Light blue would be lapis and bone meal. Uh, block of quartz. All lapis and white dye. There's a water bucket. And we really need to sort out inventory space soon because this is annoying. At least I could have put simple, simple storage network where you can just hook up all your chests so you can see it all in one place rather than, you know, it's better than nothing. Right, that's light blue, so one of those, one of those, one of those, and that gives you glowing light blue water. And then pink water, no, poink. Uh, pink water bucket, a water bucket and pink dye. And of course it consumes, oh, really? Okay, you saw we didn't, we didn't complete it, but it completed. I'm not complaining. And it gave us lots of water bucket, lots of buckets. Actually, I want to see this outside. Is it dark? No, it's not dark. Um, not really. Where would we put? Let's put it here, next to the door. And then when it's night time, we'll have a look. Okay, on to the next thing. The last thing is the architectural craft. Elytra dev version. Oh, I didn't know there were versions. You can do some nice designs and extra building blocks with this mod. This is a short quest line to introduce you to the mod and some info to get you started. Complete the quest and get a cookie. Okay. As usual, happy mining, have fun and enjoy. Grab some iron, wood and sticks to get started. Ag architecture Craft provides a wide variety of good looking architectural designs, including sloped roofs, glazable window panes, glazable window frames, arches and other rounded blocks, classical pillars and entablatures and railings for balconies and stairways. Almost any type of full cube block can be used as raw material. Glowstone has a nice look to it. Architectural craft blocks are created by using the saw bench to cut up material blocks. Craft the saw bench to get started and familiar with how these extra blocks are crafted. Material goes in the top left slot of the saw bench and finished blocks are extracted from the slot below. A number of pages of patterns are available selected from the menu at the right. Note some tinkers blocks may be incompatible with this mod and may not be craftable. Dev is aware of the issue. Also some patterns may require more than one block of material in the input slot before anything becomes available from the output slot. The ratio of input to output blocks is shown underneath the output slot. Have fun. Wow, that was a lot. But we want the architect saw bench. And that's why we needed all of that. Um, is something giving me night vision? The sky changed, it looked like a night vision thing. Yeah, but that's why we needed, yeah, all of that iron because it takes a lot. Why did I walk all the way around when there's a door right there? I, oh, I don't know. All right, let's take you out. And, okay, we want the saw bench. So the saw bench, two iron ingots, four sticks, pressure plate, and a large pulley, and a circular saw. So 
So a crossor is sticks and iron. And the pulley is blocks and sticks. Okay. Okay, let's use this Kakura wood that we can't, we don't have any other use for. Alright, so large pulley is that. Circular saw blade is that. On the workbench, we need a pressure plate. Are you going to give me a pressure plate? No, you are not. So then we should be able to put together our workbench. And we get a loot chest, 16 glowstone, and 8 orange dye. Hey, and we finished the first tier. That's pretty cool. And let's see if we can finish off at least this quest line. A hammer. We want the architect's hammer. And I think that's why they gave us the orange dye. And what else do we need? Let's claim that. Oh, nice rewards. And another chisel, architect's chisel. Ah, chisel. And, oh, we get cookies and milk at the end. So it wasn't lying when it says get a cookie when you finished. Oh, so we finished this. And actually, that's pretty cool. Now, let's see. Let's put our architectural bench here. And now that we've made that, I've just remembered why I didn't do the roof. Because I have used architectural, um, the architectural mod once before. And I do remember it had some really cool, you could do arches and stuff, as it says. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't do the roof, because it, you can do roofs with it. All right, we want that. Was there anything else? Let us just put that in. And then we can open our loot chests. Let's take this stuff off our, our hot bar. And let's have a look. Golden apple. Yet another elytra. Diamond chest. Oh, four diamond chests. That's nice. And yet another beacon. <laughs> And there's our cookies and milk. What does that come from? Oh, Pam's. Okay, how do you make Pam's cookie, cookies and milk? Creeper cookie? Oh, that's quite funny. Okay, cookies and milk. You need uh, some kind of cookie and milk and a cutting board. But let's, let's see what we can do. So... Okay, so you've got the saw bench, and these are the different shapes that you can make. Okay, so, oh, this is all roofing. So your category is here on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side. And these are the different things. So you've got roof tile, roof outer corner, roof inner corner, gabled roof ridge, hip roof ridge. I never thought that playing The Sims would actually help me understand this. Because when playing The Sims, you need to put in your own roofs. And you've got gabled roofs and hipped roofs. And it didn't really mean much to me, but now it does. Roof overhang, gable overhang, left and right. Oh, very nice. Rounded. You can make columns. You can make, you can make balls. Spheres. Hemisphere. Quarter hemisphere, quarter sphere. Oh, that's nice. You can make round poles. You can make round stuff in Minecraft. How cool is that? Classical, I guess, if you're going to put in like pillars and stuff. Yeah. Windows. Oh, so you have a window frame, a window corner, window mullion. I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure we can find out. Arches, so you have an arch diameter one, diameter two, diameter three part A, diameter four part A, diameter three part B. So you would have that, that, part C, and that, I guess. 
and four would be that, that, and that. Okay, you can do railings. Oh, okay. These are very fancy. And other cladding, oh, to cover things. Slabs, stairs. Oh, so I can make stairs of stuff you can't usually make stairs of. Stairs outer corner and stairs inner corner. That is pretty awesome. And it also makes me want to kind of want to put a, put something here. You know, what would you call those split level things? So you'd have the railing across and you can look down into, actually, we could do that. If we make the stairs come up here, make the railing go across and then uh, or because if we have our sleeping bit up here the railing can come across across here and all of this just looks down into the into the house I don't know we'll see but like I said, I also want to make a kitchen because um, cooking for blockheads is in this and uh, farming and cooking. I think we could make some of this stuff in the next episode, at least the basics up to tools. Because and though no one have to work out where do you want to put the kitchen you might put the kitchen up here actually i don't know see the possibilities are endless we could make downstairs our work area and upstairs our living quarters which i think we could do but we need to make a roof so let's go back to roofing and one makes two so if we had i'm not going to use that if we had oak planks it will give you a roof tile that looks a little bit like these but it doesn't have the ridges on it i think it's quite smooth if i remember correctly but the only thing is once you've cut it out i don't think you can can you use them again? Let's just sacrifice those two. And I oh, know I can't use those again. Now I think once they're made, you can't use them again. Oh, and they're solid. They're not really like that. Let's back up a bit. And as usual, placement is key. Uh, where is my axe? Bob was my shovel. Here's my axe. Okay, and what do you use? Is there any architectural craft manual? No. No, there's no manual. Oh, and you can see what these things look like if you put it into JEI. Okay, I don't know how you would make spiral stairs. I don't know if you can make spiral stairs with architectural craft. I think we'll leave our our stairs from from the platformer mod. But I think what we can do is make our upstairs, the bedroom, look very very pleasant. Actually we can No, I need the ladder because we need to get up to the roof. I haven't decided what I'm doing with the roof yet. Okay, so if we take this off, take this off, step back, make sure we have it pointed in the middle and place it straight up. Right, and can we put this back in to be deconstructed? Unfortunately, no. Although I'm sure we had an extra stone floor somewhere right let's put our chisel put that there 
And let's take the diamond chest upstairs. Oh, I meant to come down for birch blocks. I know that's going to stop us. Okay, but we should be able to put a railing around it. I mean, it's not needed, but it looks nice. Okay, so if we put down... And put down a chest railings. We want those are what straight railings, right? Plain. Um, we just want plain, plain balls balustrade. Okay, we need a crafting table up here too. Okay, let's put this in here as well. Can we make the balustrade into into this? from this or is it going to crash our game let's tempt fate you get 10 20 now that's probably more than enough I'm pretty sure you could probably use them as firewood anyway if you come up the stairs that's the top of the stairs is it not going to oh that is pretty okay so it's not connected I can't get it to connect but that's okay Okay, that will have to do for now. It's not perfect. Um, one makes eight. Okay. Ah. Step back, Shane. And then I can also make the new old posts, which would be those. Inner, outer, plain, end. One makes eight. So you're going to end up with a lot of end bits. But that's okay. That is pretty cool. That is really nice. That is really, really... That's pretty quite awesome. I kind of now want the, um, the railings to go down the stairs. But that means we'd have to redo all of this. And I really don't want to. Tinkers has Tinkers has a silk touch option. It's called a silky jewel. So you need four silky cloths around an emerald to give you a silk touch jewel. And a silky cloth is string around gold. Right, let's make our pickaxe head. So iron pickaxe head and it has the magnetic modifier. Okay, let's call this one silk touch and then where are we silk touch and then we can put the silky modifier on it and now it has silk touch so we can use that to get back our glass panes window window corner i think we need to make the corners uh where are they we only made two I see where this is going. Okay, so I am going to put in all the windows and then I will get back to you guys. Okay, the sun is coming up and I have finished. And um, I put all the windows in, as you can see and let's go outside and have a look the big reveal oh <laughs> yeah because it's all foggy you can't see the house great thanks game still can't see the house oh my word well that was a bit anticlimactic there's the house i put on the roof what i did is that i went back into the nether and I got a whole lot of basalt. Let's see if we can see it better from here. Not really. But I got basalt. So I used the roofing blocks from the architectural mod. And I put it in. And also the windows upstairs I used netherrack. Just plain netherrack. I didn't smelt it or anything. In the windows upstairs give it that little red trim. 
and downstairs I finished it off with the black cuckoo black kuru karu wood I've never heard of it I'm sure it's a real wood but I used that for the downstairs nether rack for the upstairs and plus I did the roof and then upstairs I've pretty much left it as is let's go have a quick look I've left it as is as you saw it but I I had to finish I had to finish the roof because I just wanted it finished so I think what I would do as I say I will make up here the living quarters so I'd probably make over here the bedroom and put in an archway right across here it's pretty this this wall didn't line up to this window I might do that actually and take out that line of window so it lines up and put in an archway and make out here the kitchen and living area and downstairs I will make that the the work area so I'll have my all of my stuff oh we've got more ender pearls so all of my stuff would be down here and have all the storage and everything and it would be a very cozy workspace very nice so thanks very much for watching this week's episode i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've learned something about the architectural architectural craft mod and i hope to see you in the next episode and i hope you like and subscribe and i'll see you next time okay bye bye